Hi, very good morning. I am Dr. Janak Patel, MD, General Physician. Today we will be talking in short regarding generalized tonic clonic seizure, which short form we call GTC, or we also call that as grand mal epilepsy. It is one of the variety of generalized seizure or we call idiopathic or primary. So generalized tonic-clonic seizure or GTC or a grand mal epilepsy. So seizures we can divide into partial and generalized. Partial can be simple partial, complex partial, and then it becomes secondary generalized. While generalized is classified into absent seizure, myoclonic seizure, generalized tonic clonic, generalized tonic, and atonic variety. And there is a third group which is called unclassified, in which neonatal seizures or infantile spasms. Partial is also called focal. Now, as far as generalized tonic-clonic seizure is concerned, in short, or also called as a grand mal epilepsy, there are commonly these five stages. Stage of aura, prodromal phase, tonic phase, followed by clonic phase, followed by post-ictal phase, in which person will go into coma, then he will recover completely and sometimes he get persistence of some of the symptoms and signs for few minutes to hours. We call Todd's palsy. So basically there is aura, tonic, clonic and postictal phase. So these are the four phases classically being described in grand mal epilepsy. Now we can see here that there will be a stage of before a person gets a tonic phase, there is something called as an aura. So, in that aura, you get a prodromal phase. In that prodromal phase, person will have certain short period of symptoms like uneasiness, altered behavior, insomnia, etc. And then he goes into a stage of aura where person gets hallucination of most common aura is of a visual aura. Second common aura is auditory aura and then comes other groups. So person will have that aura stage followed by what we call as tonic phase and clonic phase. Now this stage that is what we call is a tonic and clonic seizure gtc can be triggered by some of the factors we are not going into detail regarding those factors but some of those factors particularly bright light flickering light sounds then hunger insomnia certain foods etc now, they, during this tonic phase, person will have a generalized spasm of all the different muscles. He will have loss of consciousness, will fall and he will have a typical epileptic cry. And sometimes you can see even this opistotonous posture. In clonic phase, you will have alternate jerky movements of arms and legs, including even neck and even facial muscles and even jaw. You will have excessive salivation, drooling and foaming. And during this particular clonic phase, person can have tongue bite, cheek injury, lip injury, etc. And during this stage, person can have even involuntary evacuation of bladder and bowel and also vomiting. Person will also have 
little difficulty in breathing, eyeball will roll up and then he will go into a stage what we call as post-ictal phase. During this post-ictal phase, person will be drowsy, confused, agitated. He might have complaints of pain, headache, body ache, etc. And then person will either fully recover without any neurological symptoms and signs and in some person you will have a persistence of some symptoms particularly weakness of one part of the body which will recover in few minutes to few hours but less than 24 hours we call that as tots pulse so in general aura will be a warning sign which may remain for few seconds. Commonest is visual aura. Second common is auditory aura. And then person will go into a stage what we call as a tonic phase, which will be lasting for 15 to 20 seconds. And person will have a loss of consciousness, continuous muscular contraction without any relaxation. Person can even a uh, apnea because Larynx will go into spasm and person will also develop classical epileptic cry. During this particular stage, person can even have opistotonus. It is a short lasting phase. Then person will go into what we call as a clonic phase, which will be lasting for 30 to 60 seconds, where you will have alternate relaxation and contractions, frothing saliva, person will have involuntary bladder and bowel movement, jerky movement of the upper limb and lower limb, eyeball will roll up, jerky movement of the tongue, because of that jerky contraction of the jaw also, tongue injury, cheek injury, lip injury and person can even aspirate. There may be little hyperventilation, excessive salivation and even tachycardia. Post-ictal phase person will be still drowsy, will have disorientation, confuse, complaints of severe headache, body ache, etc. And person might fully recover or might have thoughts pulse. So in a post-ictal phase, it will be lasting from 5 minutes up to 30 minutes where by and large, the person recovers completely. But a person gets continuous without recovering post-ictal phase, gets a second episodes of tonic phase, and if it persists for more than 30, sec 30 minutes, we usually label that as a status epilepticus. But if tonic-clonic phase lasts for more than 10 minutes, it should be treated as status epilepticus. Now you can see in this tonic phase, person will have a severe muscle spasm. Even you can get a opistotonus posture, epileptic cry, involuntary evacuation of bladder and bowel. Person can develop cyanosis and there will be generalized stiffness of body, limbs and body can arch like opistotonus. During clonic phase, alternate jerky movements, involuntary evacuation of bladder and bowel, cyanosis, eye blinking, eye bill, eyeball will roll up, there will be salivation and frothing from the oral cavity, you can have a tongue bite, bleeding, person can even aspirate. This will be all seen in a clonic phase and clonic phase will last approximately for 30 seconds to 60 seconds maybe few minutes and in a post phase confusion limb will be flabby limbs and body will be flabby there will be no contraction and then person will have confusion complaints of headache body ache little disoriented and then person will fully recover now you can see here this is tonic phase Now, this is clonic. 
This is clonic. You can see alternate jerky movements. You can see this is a clonic face. There is a frothing in the mouth. There is a frothing in the mouth. Very, very clear. You can see the eyeball is rolling up. Eyeball is rolled up. You can see here. You don't have to do anything. Just turn the face to one side. Don't put anything in the oral cavity as far as possible. This is clonic face. You can see that. There is alternate jerky movement. Contraction and relaxation. Now see this will stop. Now this is a postictal face. Same thing in other view. You can see this is a tonic face. Continuous spasm. Continuous spasm. You can see the neck is arched up. Now so it's going into clonic phase. You can see now there is a jerky movement. Now you can see clearly a jerky movement of the face. You have got frothing in the mouth. Eyeball is rolling up. You can see the jerky movement. And this phase will last for few seconds to one or two minutes, not longer. You can see there is a frothing in the mouth. And eyeball is rolling up. Now you can see here, the eyeball is rolling up. You can see that eyeball is rolled up. Now slowly that clonic phase will stop and person will go into what we call as a post -tickle. You can see the eyeball is rolled up. You can see the frothing in the mouth. Now almost the clonic phase is over. Now she will be in a post -tickle phase. This is generalized tonic clonic syndrome. So thank you very much for taking out time. I know that your time is valuable and I appreciate you for spending some of the time with me. I feel that this will be helpful to you. If you have seen once a classical GTC, you will be able to identify in your everyday practice. This is good number of time asked as a short note and sometime asked as given a full question. And very frequently even in oral, Something here and there can be asked in this topic. If you like this particular lecture, don't forget to press button like, subscribe, press bell icon and you can share also with your friends. See you in next lecture.